I'm back to veggies now and talking about squash. So we said we were going to um, break down a little bit, deconstruct the different kinds of squash out there that you can use. There's like 900 different types of squash. We're not There's doing so, them all. We're not doing all 900, <laughs> but we have some common ones that you might know. Like this guy is a pumpkin, and we have a zucchini, and we have a squash. So this is acorn squash. <laughs> acorn. Acorn squash. squash, also known as like Des Moines squash. The cool thing with squash that I really like in pumpkins is that you can saute them. You yes. can puree them, you can roast them. They are very, very versatile. But in addition to being versatile, they're so good for you. Yes. So they boost your immune system. They're good if you have diabetes. Tons of vitamin A, tons of vitamin C, tons of minerals, tons of nutrients. It's yeah. a very good time of year to start buying different types of squash and start cooking them, especially with that recipe too. Well, I want to know if there's certain squash you look at right away and you say, I'm going to do this with it. Okay, that's... That's interesting, because as soon as I see butternut squash, mm -hmm. I think smoked butternut squash soup. Okay. Like chive, creme fraiche, sage oil, something yes. like that. A lot of people um, think soup for the butternut squash, and why is that? Is it just because of its particular consistency? It's just a popular soup. Um, it's sweet. The color is gorgeous. Mm. Most of the, the squash and pumpkin that comes in the winter gets a nice bright orange flesh. Yeah. But I think it's the color and the nuttiness and the butteriness and the sweetness. Okay. Um, Furthermore, to your question, like when I see something like a zucchini, what do you mm -hmm. think of for cooking when you see this? Because I, I know right away what I think of. Uh, I don't know. I might chop it up and sear it in a Saute. pan. Saute. The first thing I think of is to do ribbons. No, not me. So I'd use a peeler, and yeah. we get not that's, you, and then no. we get these cool ribbons like this. I think that's beautiful. And then you can blanch them. You mm -hmm. can just serve them raw in a salad. You can mix the green. We have the little guys here. Yep. So there's so much that you can do here with the with the different types of squash. Zucchini is a type of squash. When you look at pumpkin, do you cook with pumpkin often? I don't cook with pumpkin yeah. too often. And if you're making pumpkin pies and stuff like that, that's cool. But me personally, I don't use them too often. I yeah. tend to go more to squash. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna make a pumpkin soup this year for you. Do it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do, do it. Pumpkin soup, why not? It's Another, pumpkin's so good for you. Definitely, right? It's really good for Another you. cool thing with squash, like a lot of people don't use enough spaghetti squash. Yeah. I know a lot of people do use it, but it's so simple to do. You just simply cut it in half. Yeah. You can hit it with a little bit of butter or your garlic oil. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350, and then you just fork out these beautiful strands. That looks like spaghetti. A lot of chefs now are using this as a gluten-free option. Right. Because um, it looks like spaghetti. So what we can do with what's here mm -hmm. is I just have spaghetti squash. I can take a little bit, drizzle of our garlic oil because this is really garlicky like I smell like oh, garlic really every day is. all day every day but I smell like good. garlic it's amazing There's so we just take a little bit um, we can garnish this with a bit of pumpkin seeds just because it makes sense and like this is how you can like look real fancy at home people be like oh my god you like a chef does it ever uh, does it fool you though into do you like people say eat that instead of pasta and it's just like pasta it's not just like pasta is it <laughs> It's similar, like, just you know... Just be honest with me. Just be honest. It's, it's like it honest. holds its own. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's still a vegetable. It's still a vegetable, It's still right? a vegetable. But so, you should try it. People that people that swear by it have gotten into it, and yeah. they love it, because you just have to train your mouth to get into a different consistency. You can use zucchini with a spiralizer, too, to get yeah. the kind of the same kind of spaghetti. Pumpkin mm -hmm. seeds, craisins. We can add a bit of cayenne, mm -hmm. which will give us some heat and some color. That's nice. And then maple syrup. Oh. A little bit of maple syrup. Like, I'm actually going to eat this as soon as we're done. You should eat that when we're done. 100%. That's a really good, healthy recipe right there. And then we there. can chop up some parsley. Like, if you have parsley at home, you yeah. just kind of roll it up into a bunch, and then you can run your knife through it. Because you know I always right. like green and stuff like that. Absolutely. So a little bit of parsley on top. And, like, that's like a, that's a dish in itself right there. So simple to make, so easy, and it's seasonal. Is there any um, squash, and you do something with it that you found that most people do not do with it? Like maybe you think a little bit outside of the box because we kind, get a bit stuck. Kind of going back to what I said before is smoking. I smoke you a smoke lot of different uh, ingredients and like smoking salt and stuff like yeah. that. Smoking your squash before you make uh, soup is going to completely take it to another level, another dimension. Okay. And I smoke a lot of things. Um, like walnuts and different things. That sounded terrible, yeah. huh? <laughs> That's not yeah. to be that it sounded way. really bad. Yeah. So smoke your squash. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there a way to smoke it? <laughs> um, you can, well, at, <laughs> at the food dudes kitchen, we have a, we have our own like it's like a fridge that you use, but oh, you can okay, get tabletop, you can get stove top smokers. Okay. You just get them or get get it onto the barbecue, but just smoke yeah. vegetables. Yeah, fine. Like, if you're watching this particular segment of the show, we're talking about a cooking method. Yes, this Let's is cooking. Let's go to break. It's more coming up. <laughs>